Hello. How are you doing? Good, good. Uh, I'm Petr Leto, coming from MSD. Uh, MSD is one of the uh, global big pharma companies. Uh, my perspective here today is to share some uh, thoughts with you on, on where and why a global pharma company such as uh, MSD wishes to engage and does engage uh, in collaboration with uh, Health Capital Helsinki. As a background of all this uh, is that uh, in the fall last year, uh, we signed a framework contract with, uh, with the University of Helsinki and the University Hospital of Helsinki. So, so we already have some background into what this uh, cooperation means, means in practice. All right. Uh, well, first, just a few observations uh, into, into Finland first. Um, I think it's really fair to say that uh, Finland uh, can be, towards the future, a real role model for future healthcare. We have the ingredients for that. The aim is there. The change is ongoing when it comes to the healthcare reform that we are facing. But it's also fair to say that we cannot do that alone. It needs to be built together. We need more cross-cutting of the uh, traditional uh, private uh, public boundaries, more and more of collaboration. Uh, I, I want to see that uh, and say that there are actually three areas where, where things are important. One is that you need to have the people, you need to have the skills, you need to have the competencies for the future. You need to have the research, which is, which, which is as, at a global high level, and you need to have the willingness for change. Now, when it comes to Finland, I think we have all of these there in place. The people, the skills are at high level. The research in many therapy areas are at a globally very high level. And now as the last ingredient that we are seeing is the healthcare reform. And the healthcare reform brings the change to the system. It brings new kind of dynamics in the collaboration uh, that we have had before. That will be intensified. But at the same time, I must say that, uh, and, and I'm here referring a bit to the former uh, health sector growth strategy of the government, which uh, was saying that, that, yes, we do have these uh, ingredients for the future health in place, but we are not taking the maximum advantage out of those. We are not using that to the full capacity. But now we are doing things differently. I think uh, an event like this, the cooperation that we are having with uh, Health Capital Helsinki, all of those would not have been possible, say, five years ago. So in that sense, we are entering a new world. We are making the change. We are seeing that happening right here, right now. Uh, a few words uh, from uh, MSD's perspective to uh, collaboration in Finland and then more to Health Capital Helsinki. Our, our footprint in Finland has been extensive. Uh, there are two ways, for instance, to measure that. One is to see, you know, what kind of how many clinical trials we are having in Finland at the moment, how many uh, medical educational events we are having in Finland at the moment. <laughs> Actually, when you look at the map of Finland, every node over there that you can see uh, depicts one research site that we have in Finland. If we will take the educational events to this map, uh, we would cover almost the whole entire nation. But that is the traditional perspective. We have been covering Finland extensively. But how things will change? We are facing the change around research, global competition for global uh, for uh, clinical trial sites are intensifying. We are selecting more and more 
those partners with whom we want to cooperate. And it may mean that there will be less and less of these nodes that we see there. But the ones that we have uh, for the future, those may be the ones where we collaborate more. It is likely that these research sites will be bigger in the way that it will be bigger research sites that we look, look for. Look for. Uh, when it comes to educational events, I think, I think uh, digitalization will make a difference there as well. Uh, the way that we have brought up the events uh, uh, is likely to change. We don't know yet about all the ways how that will take place, but it's likely, likely to be the case. So lots of changes uh, taking place. Uh, when it comes to Health Capital Helsinki, I think that that uh, is, is calling for the competitiveness, the capacity of Health Capital Helsinki to be looked after, to be developed. We see that taking place, but one would also need to take a look outside of Finland. What are the other countries doing? How fast they are going forward? And, and that always, always uh, takes the realism to the, to the uh, discussion. Now, when we look to the future, things start to look very, very interesting from Finland's perspective. It is fair to say that health data is changing the healthcare system a lot. The future healthcare system will be about how data is utilized. It will be everywhere. And Finland, in this respect, is really, really interesting. When it comes to comparing Finland to what is happening outside of Finland in this respect, Finland is clearly, at the moment, in a situation where there are only a few places around the globe which are as interesting as partners as Finland. And the pharmaceutical industry is taking a very, very close look at this. It's not MSD alone. Uh, MSD is, uh, is doing, uh, working on this area a lot already, but uh, lots of other companies as well. Why this is so important? It's like Tarja just uh, explained, that the future medicine development will be different from what it is today. We are entering the world of personalized medicine. Traditionally, people have been treated based on the disease, but in the future, Diseases will be, ba will be treated based on people. And all this is meaning that we use data in, in very, very uh, many different kind of ways. We use the genetic data. We use the clinical outcome data. We start to use, at some point, the lifestyle data into developing new medicines. And why this is important for, for Finland? It is that all the key ingredients for partnering in this area are there. We have all what it takes. And I must tell you, even though it hasn't been published yet, but uh, there are big plans in the background being, being worked on around this, together with Finland, together with uh, pharmaceutical companies. So, so lots of good things are happening here, and the future of healthcare, the future of, of medical development is there. Just a few words about uh, the healthcare reform. MSD wishes to be seen in the future more like a healthcare company compared to what we have been seeing in the past as a pharmaceutical company. We see that the pill is only part of the solution. The pill should be seen as part of the greater challenge on how to improve healthcare. And that's, that's our mission. Uh, we want to approach this mission together 
and Health Capital Helsinki, where lots of activities around the healthcare reform are taking place. That is the place to be. We want to collaborate here. And just, I mean, based on what we have gone through, just look what you have. I mean, you have great things. Of course, you start with the university and, and the university hospital. Of course, Aalto is there as well, but this is now more for, for Helsinki side. But inside of these organizations, you have FIM, the Molecular Medicine Institute, you have the recently established Helsinki Biobank, which is developing very, very fast. You have FICAN, the National Cancer Center, which will be coordinated from Helsinki. You have the digitalized Tervoskular concept. And these just to name, name a few. So lots of things are happening here, lots of things towards the future. And as my final point, I would really leave you with this message. So you have it all. You have the people, you have the research, you have the healthcare reform. And I would say, based on our experience so far, you should just take more advantage out of that. We have only touched the surface of collaboration so far. A few suggestions. One could define and, and resource those areas where you want to collaborate in. You could do more of that. More of that. You, be, you could be more open about it. So then the potential partners would know. Things would be easier. You could be direct about it. And let the world know what you have. It's about marketing, marketing, marketing. We're starting around that, but, but things are still very, very minuscule, very, very small. You need to tell what you have. And final point, take full advantage of the healthcare reform. And in that digitalization, there are so many opportunities in that that you can use. And there are so many potential partners outside. We are one of those. There are there are a lot. So, thank you. Does the, does the audience want to say something after this inspirational talk? I have a couple of questions or a couple of comments to build on your speech. Ah, Tula, great. Hello, I'm Tuula Palmen and I come from Health Capital Helsinki. Thank you, Petri. So it's always a pleasure to collaborate with MSD and, uh, and uh, I want to thank you for helping us to create an active ecosystem in the Helsinki metropolitan region with proceedings to national and envi in international environments. So thank you. Great. Do you want to say something on to us? Likewise. Likewise, yeah. <laughs> yes, and I think that Petri, you're on point. Um, I had a chance to speak with the inspirational Daniel Kraft from Singularity University, and he was speaking of the change on Internet of Things and how we collect data. And health and life science are in the middle of the change. So we start observing ourselves in a completely new way that internet has made possible. And the other thing, I think you both are uh, act truly right on the subject. Uh, my name is Jarko Nissen and I come from Helsinki Think Company and greetings from the grassroots level that the community is strong and that's our competitive advantage. So for tip to all of you guys, you know, Go, go to these platforms and venues and, and you know, spend time there and, and speak with people. Uh, I think that 
it's bubbling. It's, it, it starts to bubble, even though we have great regions like Barcelona or Stockholm uh, on, on these topics. I, I still think that Helsinki has that sort of unique, uh, unique concept of smallness. <laughs> That you can call anybody, or I can go and ask any of you help for my idea. So thank you, Petri, once more. Great talk. <laughs>